Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Infinite, here again, back with another sound design tutorial. Today we're going to be making one of the big monster angry growls from uh, my newest single, Body Count, with Rico Act. Uh, so the sound we're going to be making uh, are the growls right here in this pattern. Uh, it's going to be on the second and fourth beat. Um, they're hitting like right with the snare, the clap thing, so... Um, I'm not even going to sing the pattern. But yeah, the, the growls in this little bit here. Anyway, so yeah, that is the uh, sound that we're going to be making. It is another massive growl. Um, there's going to be serum tutorials coming. There's going to be serum tutorials coming real soon, but... We will get into this one right now. So uh, first things first, we're going to grab a new massive patch and then it's game on from there. So first thing we want to do with this is open up our new massive. Uh, we've got a new sound ready to go here and we're going to start setting up our oscillators. So uh, first things first here, this sound we're going to use all three of our oscillators. So oscillator one, we're going to grab an AI wavetable type. Uh, we're going to leave that at, uh, we're not going to adjust the pitch. She's good to go. We're going to grab a chrome wavetable. She... Let's forget. There we go. This is a chrome. And oscillator three, we are going to grab a sonic wavetable type. So there we go. Um, that's what it sounds like. Just the oscillator set up. We want to pitch oscillator 2 up one octave, and then we need to adjust our parameters here. So oscillator 1, we want the wavetable position to be about there. Uh, the intensity drag just down, so it's just under halfway there. Oscillator 2, we're going to drag the wavetable position to about there. Intensity there, and our amp there. And our oscillator three, we want the wavetable position to be just past there. The intensity to be about there and the amp about there. Perfect. And we also need to adjust, adjust the wavetable types of our oscillator one and two. So these are both going to go from spectrum to bend minus plus. So this is our sound thus far nothing too crazy going on but moving on so we're going to open up the oscillator tab and we want to hit this restart via gate button here we also want to take the pitch band and drag it up one octave and down one octave as well so from here we're going to start getting our filters set up so first things first is we want the series and parallel fader to be right in the middle here at 0 0.5 um so let's so we've got both of them running at the same time with each other. Uh, filter one, we want a band reject filter. Uh, the cutoff needs to be adjusted so it's about there. Bandwidth, so it's just under the halfway point. And the residence, uh, also just under the halfway. And for our filter two, we are going to need a band pass filter for this guy. Drag the cutoff to about there. And the bandwidth there, resonance, so it's just barely under halfway. And that should be it for our filters. And we also can, we can crank the gain on both of these up. And we want to drag the mix down all the way to filter two. And I'll show you how we're going to run this so while we're in here actually first thing before we move on to the lfo is we can open up our voicing tab um set this to two hit the pitch cutoff on and we want this on as well and drag this guy all the way to right so that's our sound now because we really need to start getting some uh some movement going on these filters to actually that let the growl do its thing so Moving on from here, we want to grab an LFO, got LFO 5 here, we want to switch that to a performer. Uh, we're going to turn the sync on here because we want it being smooth. Uh, drag the amp mod all the way, 
to the top on there. Now we're going to go to load curve and we want to draw a shape that looks kind of like this. So it kind of slopes upward in and then really gradually slopes down until it kind of falls all the way. And then maybe for the second shape, we'll also just kind of repeat it, except um, it won't be as high up as a shape. So once we've got that LFO, we can maybe adjust the ratio on this to one fourth and we're going to start dragging this to a whole bunch of different parameters over here to get the movement of the growl going. So we'll drag it to the cutoff of band reject filter on filter one, drag it so it's about there, drag it to the band width on our filter one, drag it down so it's about there and drag it down to the cutoff of filter two it up so it's about there and that should pretty much do it for the actual filters and we also want to drag the performer 5 onto the mix fader of our filters crank that all the way up so that's where we're at right now essentially just cleans it up a little bit now it's actually starting to give some movement to our sound so moving on from there we're going to also drag this lfo to a bunch of different uh, parameters in our oscillators. So we're going to drag it to the wavetable position of oscillator one, um, adjust it so it's sitting like that. We're going to drag it to the intensity of our oscillator one and drag it just about all the way down. Um, that should do it for our oscillators actually. So again, we're starting to get more of that actual, you know, valley growl type thing going on now. So we will add some more stuff to beef this up. We'll go to our noise oscillator here, crank the color up to about there, and the amp, so it's about there. Insert one, we're gonna grab our trusty little sign shaper and have the dry wet directly in the middle and the drive just about all the way up, but not quite. And we also wanna grab a parabolic shaper for our insert two with the dry wet and the drive um, dry wet at half and the drive just below half. So now we're really, really starting to get that, uh, get that actual crispiness coming to what we want the growl to sound like in the end. So moving on from there, we want to add a classic uh, tube to our first effects slot. Because, you know, more distortion. Starting to sound angry. Okay, so effects two, we want to grab our dimension expander with the dry wet at 50% the size all the way down and then turned up just just literally one fraction, one little tiny tiny level. So now we're definitely starting to get more of that uh thick, angry growl type thing. Um moving on from here, we want to do some adjustments to our EQ. Um turn the high up just the tiniest, tiniest bit. Uh, our low shelf is going to come down to about there. Our boost is going to come down to about there. And the frequency we want to turn up a little bit. We also want to throw that performer on the frequency knob here and adjust it so it's about there. And throw this on the high shelf as well, just so as the growl move, moves, it's going to modulate the highs to come down a little bit. Dope, so we're just about done here. Um, right, the phase. So we actually do need to turn on our phase oscillator for this patch here. Um, we want to turn the phase, or actually we want the ring mod and the phase to be affecting oscillator one. So oscillator one, we want the ring mod to sit at just, just above the halfway. And for the phase on oscillator one, we want it to sit so it's about there. Dope. So again, we're just about, this is almost how it should sound. From here, it's going to be like some fine tweaking stuff. Uh, something else that I want to do is grab another LFO. And we're going to turn this to a performer. Set the rate to or drag that amp, uh, that amp mod all the way up. And we're going to draw a really similar shape to our other LFO that we already had. What's going on? Except we just want this shape to be 
just so it's kind of a gradual slope inward. And we're going to actually drag this one to the master amp mod of our sound. So it's just going to clean it up a little bit so that the start of the sound is more uh, gradual and clean. So this is what it sounds like without it. And then when we put on that LFO for our master mod here, get on there. Quite a big difference there. Rather than just kind of having the whole sound all blown at you in your face all at once, you throw on that LFO to kind of clean up the actual like way that the sound is coming through. And boom, there she goes. Um, so yeah, uh, moving on from here, a lot of what the actual sound comes from is, uh, well actually this is, this is our patch here, we're done with the patch. Um, but a lot of the way you can actually get that like really vowel, growly sound here is going to come from your pitch automation. Like, so as you can see, I'm doing that by just adjusting up here. But if we want to do this ourselves in FL Studio, uh, we just want to make sure that our pitch bend is up one octave and down one octave inside Massive, and also make sure that our pitch range up here is one full octave and then we can make some automation clips um, actually I'll just I'll just draw in a quick little pattern for you guys real quick um, how I would draw my growls so we've now got this growl here just in a pattern Zoom in. So, so we've got our growl right here. Uh, we've also got our automation clip for the pitch. If you didn't see how I did that, I'll show you how to do that again right now. Um, so you've got the sound that you want to automate the pitch of. So it's this one. So we're going to right click this, create automation clip. That's going to show up in our track. And now we can just kind of draw what we want the pitch to do. So the way I do my growls basically I get that that vowely growly sound from going up and then down with the pitch. So the way we've got this this automation clip here drawn in right now, it's just going to go the 50% here is where your your note is starting. No change to the pitch, and then with the clip, it's going to you're going to draw. So right here, this pitch is going to go up and then fall down. So just by looking at this, I can tell the sound's kind of going to go and then kind of dive back down. So this is how that would sound. So that is how our growl is sounding now. And you can really go to town with this and do as much or as little or as crazy or not crazy things as you want. So yeah, that's that's how you can make some cool pitch growls. Um, download for this patch will be in the description. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know specific tracks of mine that you want sounds from. And yeah, um, see you guys next week. And thanks for hanging out. <laughs>